Hi weight artists, today we're going to start an Inca pattern rug. Hold your paper sideways like a bathtub. Choose a color of oil pastel and draw a straight horizontal line across the top of your paper. Pick a different color and draw a wavy line near the center of the paper. Choose a third color and make a zigzag line near the bottom of your paper. Later, we'll be cutting along these lines, so don't make them too wavy or too zigzaggy. Now it's time to create some patterns. Look at this Inca Designs handout for some ideas. Remember, a pattern is a design that repeats. Start at the top and work your way across. I'm going to do two purple zigzags and then an orange Inca symbol. Now I will repeat these as I work my way across. For my next row, I'm going to do a pink diamond and then a blue X and do this pattern as I work my way across. Feel free to color in your shapes. For my third row of patterns, I'm going to do a yellow rectangle and then an orange square with an X inside. For my last row, I'm going to create a symbol for water. It kind of looks like a wave. In between, I'm going to create some pink triangles. I think I'll add some green dots. I think I'll add one more thing to my third row of patterns, three short orange little lines on the tops and bottoms of each yellow rectangle. Let's add some dots to the second row. Now it's time to paint. Start by waking up your colors. Be sure to use plenty of water and gently glide your paintbrush over your paper, like an ice skater. Notice how the oil in the oil pastel is resisting the paint. This yellow is almost gone, but I'm going to keep adding more water and stirring it up so I use it up completely. Now I'm going to rinse my brush and switch to a different color. I think I'll use purple for my second row. It's time to rinse my brush again. 
Let's add some green to the third row of patterns. last row, I think I'll use blue. Today we will carefully cut along our lines to create four sections for a rug. Now carefully lay out your pieces in a row across your black paper. Be sure to leave a small space in between each section of patterns. Now let's get these glued down. Notice how these pieces fit together like a puzzle piece. Now slide it over a little and leave a space and press it down. Now it's time to flip over and give it a massage. Now we're going to tie some yarn to our rug. Flip your paper over and create five dots along the bottom and five dots along the top. This is where we'll be punching holes. You should punch five holes along the top and five along the bottom. Five plus five equals ten. So you will need ten pieces of yarn. Start with your first piece and fold it in half. Push the loop down through the hole until it pokes out on the other side. Bring the loose ends down through the loop and pull gently. This will create a lark's head knot. Let's repeat this process. Remember, don't pull too hard or it could rip your paper. If that accidentally does happen, you could always punch another hole next to it. When you're done with the bottom, flip it around and do the opposite side. I hope you have fun creating your Inca pattern rug.